Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today I have a What's My Bag video. The bag that I have been rocking is my Louis Vuitton Pouchette Matisse in the monogram canvas. As most of you know, when it comes to doing these videos, I don't clean out my handbag beforehand or anything like that, but I am pretty careful as to how everything lays inside for the most part, although you will notice that this baby is overstuffed. I don't recommend that by any means whatsoever. Uh, so like I said, I need to empty this out and give it a rest because I've been using it for, I think, I don't know, eight or nine days. And I really like to try to rotate my bags as much as possible. Uh, this video is in collaboration with Emile Cordon. Emile Cordon specializes in luxury lip pots, which is perfect considering I am probably one of the biggest lipstick addict, lip gloss, lip balm junkies out there. Oftentimes you'll end up seeing maybe four five, six different lip products inside of my handbag. You know, it is what it is. Don't judge me. <laughs> uh, and I also changed the camera angle down. Last time I did one of my What's in My Bag videos, a lot of you guys prefer the camera angle. That way you can see if I have any issues getting in and out of the handbag or anything like that. So hopefully it ends up working out and hopefully it ends up focusing on the products that I want to share with you guys. Uh, all right, so without further ado, let's empty this baby out and give it a rest, shall we? So here we go. Inside this is what we got going on. Usually when it comes to using the Pouchette Matisse, I try to put all of my SLGs on their side. I feel that that way I'm really able to maximize my space. Although, as I said in the beginning, this is overstuffed. I have way too many items going on here. And the middle compartment definitely has the most give. And that's usually where I end up putting my bulkier items, if you will. But whatever I got going on in this one here uh, is really just taking up way too much space. All right, so let's start with the front little pocket here. Uh, and here I have my Chanel Ozip coin purse. This is in the black caviar leather with the gold hardware. I love this little Ozip coin purse. It's very similar to the Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse, uh, but I feel that this one just kind of has, um, I don't know, I feel like it opens up a little bit more than that one does. Uh, but in here I just have my credit cards, my insurance information, some other you know, miscellaneous cards, nothing really fun. I have a couple coupons in here. <laughs> <laughs> and my Neiman Marcus double point day, which I'm still saving on to because I got to be good so far. You know, my birthday's coming up and I just got to take it easy. You know what I mean? But I love this little Ozip coin purse. If you're looking to go into a smaller wallet without having to take anything out out of a larger wallet, this is awesome because of the compartments. And like I said, you're able to open it up and see everything at a glance um, and it just ends up working out. So whether you have a small handbag or a little handbag, this ends up uh, being perfect. All right, uh, can you guys see? All right, next we have my Louis Vuitton Emprunt Clay. This is in the black leather with the gold hardware. Uh, I know that they have new colors coming out for Emprunt uh, this coming season. How great would that be if they had some more clay colors because I'm addicted to their to their Emprunt leather. Uh, all right, so in here, as most of you know, it is hot stamped with my initials. And what do I have? I have I have a lot of coupons. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so many coupons. Why, why, why? All right. Uh, I have Victoria's Secret coupons. I have some hair clips. Here we go. This, I don't even know why I have this. Uh, I have my business cards. I have more Victoria's Secret coupons. I have $40. I never have cash. If you guys ever watch my What's in My Bag videos, I never have cash, ever. It's actually, it's always like like one or two dollars or something like that, never 40 bucks. <laughs> I feel like I won the lottery. And really, I don't like carrying cash because I feel that I end up spending it on stupid random stuff and then by the time I need it, I'm like, where's that $20, where's that, you know, whatever it is, I never have it. Are you guys like that? And then I have uh, more hair clips, bobby pins. And what else? I have another coupon, Foster Farms coupons. Oh yes, the housewife in me loves those. <laughs> All right, and then more hair clips. Oh my goodness. You know, I've told you guys, it is what it is. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I don't have coupons. I do, a lot. Uh, all right, and then I have my Chanel uh, six ring key holder in the black caviar with the gold hardware. I did recently do a comparison with the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. As most of you know, this is one of my all time favorite, or if not my favorite SLG, you know, of all time. I think it's great. And uh, this one is a little bit uh, smaller, but it's a little bit bulkier. Does that make sense? It's a little bit shorter, but it's a little bit bulkier because it's a little bit thicker than the Louis Vuitton one. So if you guys want to, I will put it at the end of this video if you guys want to check it out. But I just have my regular keys in there. Nothing, 
nothing too special going on. And I did have quite a bit of coffee, so if I feel so so if I seem a little jittery, you know why. <laughs> I feel like I can't even get the words out. All right, so that does it for this uh, front pocket here. Now, this next pocket, the one with the bulkier items, has uh, the Chanel O case, small O case, in the black caviar with the silver hardware. This was one of my pickups from Hawaii, and as you can see, this thing is crazy full. Um, I will be doing a comparison with the Louis Vuitton pochette, um, the mini pochette. So far, I still prefer the mini pochette just because I feel that it ends up fitting a lot more items a lot easier than this one does. This one seems to get really poofy um, with just a few few things going on. Oh my gosh, I can't even open it. That's how that's how badly stuffed it is. All right, so I have my pill, um, my little pill container with my headache medicine. I have oh my gosh, receipts, Costco. Costco, dog food, what is this? I have Rite Aid <laughs> and Albertsons. <laughs> now you guys know what I do on the daily. Uh, all right, I also have a lip balm. This is Elvis Presley's Heartbreak Hotel. This was actually sent to me by a very good friend, Tasha. Tasha, if you're watching this, I absolutely love this. I love lip balm. It smells like, uh, it smells like cherry. But I don't know if it's supposed to smell like cherry or not, but it smells fantastic. <laughs> but Lip Balms and I, we work like this. So here we go. So loving that. Uh, I also have my car key. Uh, my tooth floss. What else do I have in here? I have my friendly cigars. I always carry three. And then my nail clippers. And that does it for the small... O-case okay, from uh, Chanel. And it, I mean, it still fits quite a bit, uh, so don't get me wrong, but I just feel that I can end up getting away with more items inside of the mini pochette. You know what I mean? If you have both, let me know your uh, your thoughts on the comment section down below. Uh, but I still like it, but it's, <laughs> it's overstuffed. I know, I know. I'm damaging my own stuff, but leave me alone. All right, so here we go. And this, this is the last item that I have in this second compartment. This is the Chanel O case, the small O case. It's very similar. It's, well, this is the small O case and this is the small O case. Again, you guys know that when it comes to Chanel, everything's an O case, everything's small or large, and they don't really have a specific, um, a specific name for their items. All right, so here we go. I am terrified to see what's in here. <laughs> it is the bulk of my lip products is what it is and I feel like I keep oh my goodness I feel like I keep putting items on top of each other without realizing what else I have in here I think that's really what the problem is when it comes to uh, my lip products all right so here we go uh, first one I have is Mac Velvet Teddy as most of you know I have had this for a little while I love this color I think it's awesome uh, but let me just swatch it so you guys can see it. There we go. I am farther away from the camera, so hopefully it's able to pick up the color a little bit better. There we go. Next, I have my Laura Mercier Gloss, and this is Bronze Gold Accent Lip... Lip what? Lip Glace? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but there we go. As you can see, it has quite a bit of sparkles, which I am a big fan of. Uh, this stuff is awesome, and let me just swatch it again. I'll just swatch all of them so you guys can see them. Uh, the best way to describe the sparkles on this lip gloss is kind of like the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow. It has that same type of effect right here. You probably can't see it. Uh, it's mostly just glitter, and it doesn't have uh, really any color to it, but let me see if I can bring it up. There we go. Love that. All right. Next, we, you know what, I'm going to take this out completely. This is the Chanel uh, Le Beige powder, and I think I've used it a, a handful of times. I think I'm just going to take it out of my bag completely because, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't really do anything for me. I feel that now that I've started to use the um, Laura Mercier, the translucent powder, I feel like that ends up holding my makeup better throughout the day so where I don't need to touch it up. And I already have another mirror in here, so I think I'm just going to... Yeah, this wasn't really the greatest buy for me, so the Chanel Le Beige, peace out. All right, next I have the 
uh, Chanel Dual Facets Mirror, which you guys have seen before. So that's what I was saying. Since I already have a mirror with that one, I don't need the Le Beige. And since I never use it, it's just occupying more space inside of my little O case that I can give to another lip product. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, next I have uh, the Emile Cordon uh, Luxury Lip Pot that I was talking about at the beginning. It says, a kiss full of luxe and charm, the world's finest lip pot. Check out that packaging. I love that. It has a little crown on there. Very, very nice. Uh, and uh, I've had this for, I think, a month, a month and a week now, and I have been using it every single day. I am obsessed. I have two of them. I actually prefer this one. This is number 72 Cocoa White Coconut Cake. I love anything coconut, whether it's the smell or the taste, although this one doesn't taste the way that it smells. You know what I mean? You know how like there's some lip balms that uh, when you accidentally lick your lips, you can taste whatever the smell is. That's not the case with this one. <laughs> uh, but this, uh, it says cashmere on lip pot and um, it's very, it's very multi-purpose. You can end up using this as a lip balm. You can put it on your cuticles. You can put it underneath your makeup. You can put it on after the sun if you have a sunburn or anything like that. Usually what I end up doing uh, after I put it on my lips, I put the excess on my hands because it's very, very dry right now and it just makes my hands feel a lot smoother. You know what I mean? So I really like that. It's not too cakey uh, and you know how some lip balms are, you feel like you have layers and layers of balm. It's not the same with this. Uh, I have it on my finger there. You guys won't be able to see it because it doesn't have any color, uh, but it's just, it blends in with your skin really, really nicely. A lot of people end up comparing this to La Mer uh, lip gloss I, or a lip balm. I don't have one of those to compare it to so that way if you are familiar with the formula then you'll have a little bit more information on it uh, but I think it ends up working out perfectly and check it out it's almost to the bottom of the pot <laughs> because I'm constantly reaching for it it does come with like a little spatula but I lost the spatula all right any any kind of lip balm or lip pot that comes with the spatula I automatically lose it. And I'm not gonna put it inside of my cosmetic case, you know what I mean? Cause then I'll end up getting lip balm on all my other items. So, but I think that these are awesome and I just can't get enough, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, all right, uh, let me just clean this off really quickly. See, that's what I'm saying. All right, so next we have, what is this? Uh, Dior Attic Lipstick in number 612 City Lights. I love, love, love this uh, lipstick. As you can see, it is a like a burgundy, it's like a wine. But even though it looks like it's dark on the tube, that's not the way that it shows up. Let me just show you really quickly. There it is on my skin. So it's almost more, it's more like a tint, you know what I mean? Very, very moisturizing. I absolutely love these, uh, but check that out. And they have a ton of sparkles. And you guys know how I feel when it comes to sparkles. You know what I mean? And I think that Dior is probably my favorite when it comes to lipsticks. And I've tried other luxury brands. And I just can't really... They're either too dry or they just... I don't know. The formula doesn't end up working out. But so far, every single every single lip product I've tried from Dior ends up working out perfectly. Uh, all right. Next, I have uh, this Buxom Shanghai... What is this? Full-on lipstick. I used this last weekend, I think. Yeah, check out that color. Buxom, another brand that I'm super crazy about. <laughs> I've told you guys, I'm obsessed when it comes to lip products. There it is right here. It's a little bit more of a, like a berry, I guess. Berries don't always end up working out for me, but this ends up being perfect on my skin tone, I feel. Especially if I'm using a smoky eye, which is what I normally end up going for when it comes to eyeshadows. So the Buxom Shanghai uh, is great. And the last one that I have in here is another Buxom product. Uh, and this is the full-on lip polish. This was the minis that I got for Christmas. Uh, and this is in the color Claire. Big fan huge fan of Buxom lip glosses. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think that they're great. I have talked about them multiple times on my channel and this one's probably down to here. Although, you know what's funny? I don't think I've ever finished a, a lip product, ever. I think I have a lot of halves or like almost empty, but I've never, I have never said I have finished a full-on lip product. Have you, are you guys like that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, all right, but check out this color. It's also, it's almost like they're all mauve. They're all burgundy. They're all berries. They're right over here. And uh, again, it has a ton of different sparkles, a ton of different, different glitter, and I am a big fan of that. And that does it for my Chanel uh, small O case. As you can see, it is completely empty. I have a quite a bit of lip products in there. How many did I have in there? One, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, six different lip products. <laughs> Plus the lip balm that I had already, my goodness. Uh, but I forgot to say that this is in the Red Lambskin with the Silver Hardware. I haven't had any issues with this. There are no scratches, and it's been wearing really, really nicely, to be honest. Uh, so I'm a big fan of this um, this O case, and I feel like you can really get away with using a lot of items. And I think it's because of the type of interior that it has. You're able. It gives you a little bit more play, which is awesome. All right, let's get moving. So now these two are completely empty. And back here, I have <laughs> I have some coupons, of course, uh, that I probably won't end up using. Uh, but these are Bath & Body Works coupons. Um, free item of your choice, $10 off a purchase of 30 or more. Bath Fizzy Aromatherapy item. I love the aromatherapy items, but there we go. So we have some coupons. Maybe I should go to Bath & Body Works and just do like a huge haul because now we're in the season where I'm obsessed with candles because I can end up burning candles because it's not 150 degrees outside. So maybe I should do that. Are you guys big fans of Bath & Body Works as well? <laughs> uh, all right, next I have my uh, Louis Vuitton round coin purse. And in here, I don't have too much going on. I am looking forward to doing a review um, on the Hermes Bastia coin purse because I still have it in my collection. I've had a few of you guys ask me if I still like it. Um, it's <laughs> it's going to be an interesting review. Uh, there's a reason why I don't use it anymore. Uh, it is still in my collection, but I'm not I'm not very fond of it. You know what I mean? So I'll get into that when I do the review. But uh, the round uh, coin purse from uh, Louis Vuitton. I feel like. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting all jumbled with the with the words. All right, and then I have some gum, like always. You, you can't have dragon breath, and really, the reason why this is even now is because it doesn't fit inside of the, uh, what's it called, the Chanel, this guy here. I had too many items, and usually this always ends up going inside of my mini pochette. So I just have my regular Orbit bubble mint gum. Nothing too fancy. All right, so these guys are all empty, and I usually, I don't think I have anything back here. I do. I do. I have a receipt for, we got some co some things for my costume for Halloween. And what is this? Are you serious? I never use this back pocket. Very, very seldomly do I use it. And I have, <laughs> I have the skew cards for my Pouchette Matisse. I have had this thing for two and a half years, I think, and I never knew that the skew cards were back here. I completely thought that I didn't get them. Whoops. And uh, I have another lip product. This is the Chanel uh, Rouge Coco Gloss in 172. I love this color. It is a little bit uh, bright. Let me just put it on, see, if, see what you guys think. I don't have a mirror, so you guys are my mirror. You know what I'm saying? All right. How does that end up working out? It's too bright, right? I love how moisturizing the cocoa gloss is. I think all of these lip products are moisturizing. You know what I mean? What can I say? I told you guys, I am a lipstick junkie, a lipstick fanatic. And I will, I've said it once and I'll say it again. If you guys ever see me out and about, if I am in Sephora or if I am anywhere that I am, if I have lipsticks in my hand, smack them out of my hand, take them out of my hand. You don't even have to say anything. You don't have to say hi, Minnie, or anything like that. If I am looking at a lip product and you see me, just take it out of my hand and walk away. I will know exactly <laughs> where it comes from. I might be like, what the heck? But then I'll say, oh, I remember. I did say that in a couple of videos. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know what it is, but I have a major addiction. I think I like lip products more than I like handbags and shoes. And that, my friends, is saying a whole lot. Uh, all right, so that does it for the back pocket of my Pouchette Matisse, and it is completely empty, right? Yes, I don't have anything else in here. Uh, I have had a lot of you guys ask me if I've had any issues with uh, the varnish on this one. This is actually my second Pouchette Matisse. The first one that I had started to have uh, the cracking varnish on the sides, and you always want to try to avoid that as quickly as possible because once the varnish starts to crack, it starts to get inside of the canvas, and if you have cracking canvas, then that's something that Louis Vuitton uh, won't fix. Uh, but I haven't had any issues whatsoever, and usually you'll end up seeing the varnish start to crack here just because of the design of the 
of the Pushet Matisse and how you get in and out of it. Uh, but nope, I haven't had any issues. And really, shame on me for even overstuffing it the way that I usually do. Um, I, like I said before, I don't know what it is. Sometimes it just gets, you know, the best of me. And I just start putting more and more items in there. I've told you guys before, I am a pack rat to a T. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, all right, you guys. So that does it for my What's in My Bag video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you want to try out any of these products, I will put them all in the description box below, uh, and just to see if maybe it ends up working out for you as well. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And uh, again, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like this angle, if it makes it a little bit easier uh, to see the items, or if you would prefer me to be a little bit closer to the camera so I can focus on the, you know, on the products that I end up showing. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much for watching and I might see you on Saturday. I'm going to try to do a, um, like my, my most used small leather goods because I've been getting a lot of questions on that. And if not, then I will see you guys all next week. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.